Hello, my name is Eris from Cisco SD1 Tag. In this video, we will go through the process of configuring QoS from vManage GUI. Before diving into the configuration, let's take a look on the QoS deployment workflow. To configure QoS, begin by creating class lists. Navigate to configuration, policies, localized policy, add policy, class map. In this tab, click new class list. Provide the name for our class and assign a queue number. Click save. If you would like more classes, please repeat the same step. In this example, I am creating two more classes. After we are done with our class list, click next. On this page, we need to click add QS map, create new. Give a name and description for QoS map. Click Add Queue. On this window, select the queue number assigned during class list creation. Specify bandwidth and buffer percentage and choose the drop type for this queue. Click Save Queue. Repeat the same steps for other queues that you have created during class list. In my case, we have two more queues to create. Please take a note on our queues. You will notice Q0. We didn't create that queue. This means Q0 is the default queue. It is recommended to leave some bandwidth for the default queue. Once you are satisfied with your queue setup, click Save Policy and proceed by clicking Next until reaching the Policy Overview page. On this page, provide the name and description for our local policy. Select options such as NetFlow, Application, Cloud, QoS, and then click Save Policy. So far, we have established QoS criteria but haven't applied them. To do so, attach the local policy to our device template by navigating to Configuration, Template, Device Template, locate your template and click Edit on those three dots. Inside the Device Template, access additional templates. Choose the correct policy name and click Update. Please note, if this is a live template, follow the standard process to push the changes to the device by clicking Next. Verify the changes on the config preview and once you are satisfied, click configure devices. The next step involves applying the QoS map and shaping grade on the service side interface by navigating to configuration, templates, feature templates. Locate your interface template on three dots, select edit and then proceed with configuring shaping grade and QoS map under access list and QoS. The name of the QoS map needs to match our QoS map name when we create it on the policy. Click update when finished. Because this is a live template, follow the standard process to push the changes to the device. The next step involves creating a data policy to appropriately classify our traffic into forwarding classes. Click on Configuration, Policies, Centralized Policy, find your main policy, on three dots select Edit, then Access, Traffic Rules, Traffic Data, Add Policy, Create New. In the sequence type, Ensure QoS is selected. Provide the name and description for the QoS policy. Click on Sequence Rule. Select your application under the Match field and under the Action tab, select DCP, Forwarding Class and the Counter so we can use that later for troubleshooting. Click Save, Match and Actions. Repeat the same steps for the other traffic that you want to forward to the specific classes. In my example, I have two more traffic to forward on my specific classes. 
Once you are done, you can click Save Data Policy. We need to apply this QoS policy to our VPN and site list. Navigate to Policy Application, Traffic Data, find your QoS policy and click New Site slash Region List. Select the site and VPN where this policy will be applied. Click Add when finished. Finally, save the policy changes and approve the activation. Since this is a live policy, the changes will be sent directly to the vSmart. Once we see successfully, means that our changes has been applied. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative.